We're out here today play testing the newest iteration of the iconic Adidas Barricade. Come check it out. If you've played tennis as long as I have, I'm sure you've worn many barricades from the past, myself included, but with this one, you can already tell that it's gonna be much lighter. So the second I grabbed it out of the box, I was excited to put it on, lace it up. I will say my one negative part in this play test was that I did experience a break-in period. It took me about a week, three to five hours to break the shoe in. During that period, I did experience some uncomfortable rubbing, but after a week, the shoe started fitting better and better to my feet with every wear, and it became a shoe that I found myself wearing every time I went on the court because it continued to get more comfortable for me. So I unlocked that comfort and found it to be an awesome option. I'm a sucker for stable shoes, and this one does just that. I'm absolutely shocked at how little wear I'm seeing on the outsole. I've been wearing this shoe basically nonstop for two months, and the outsole is still holding Holding up. It's fitting to my feet. I love the lacing system and I love what Adidas has done with the design. There's some fun little Easter eggs within the shoe, whether it's the little saying right at the tongue or just some throwback call outs to old barricades from the past. It's a super great shoe and it's quickly become one of my top three favorites of 2021. When I think of barricade, I always immediately think of stability, durability, and my benchmark for it is the Adidas Barricade 5. And I really like that shoe because it was really durable, super stable. And uh, when I put this shoe on, I found it to break in much quicker. Whereas I would wear that shoe around for a week or two before hitting the court, I felt comfortable in these playing after about one or two hours. Uh, these shoes felt a little bit more streamlined off the bat. The one issue I had with the fit was the um, ankle. I felt like I wanted one additional uh, eyelet to shore up the fit. Even though I felt like my heel was slipping a little bit, I always felt secure and I could really remedy it by just taking each lace and tightening it as I went. And I wanted to do that every time I hit the court. As I was moving on court, initially I thought these shoes had a really good grip and were quite squeaky. Uh, balanced out and to be a nice, like I could pivot out of my shots after about five hours I felt like the traction had settled in and like Michelle I've worn these shoes a ton I've worn them well over 20 hours and I am a toe dragger and I'm seeing very little wear on the toes maybe just a little bit of scuffing and I really can't see any wear on the outsoles Overall, I found these shoes to be a really nice evolution of the Barricade. They are playing a little bit faster, breaking in quicker, but are still providing that stability and durability that the Barricade is known for. I've worn numerous Barricades in the past, and I'm always excited to see what Adidas will come with next, and I was really excited for this update. I first put these on as soon as I got them and I walked down on the court and like the other play testers, I did have a small break in period of about a week, about three to five hours total. And during that time, I did get some small blisters on my heel, on the top of my heel, but I was able to remedy that situation by wearing a little bit higher socks and really making sure I was tightening my laces. I had to tighten them once or twice during a hour hit just to make, real, make sure my ankle was really locked in. Like Tiffany, I could have used one extra eyelet, but once I got past that, it was all systems go. This shoe is stable, it is durable, and I found it very comfortable once I got through that break-in period. I really like how the shoe absor absorbed the shock when I was moving around on the court, and the stability for me is a huge factor right now with a previous ankle injury. I felt these shoes were really stable on court. I never had any issues with them, and the durability. I think I got 20 plus hours, and I see no wear on underfoot, on the toe. This shoe is really made for the aggressive mover. As far as weight, I'd say it's on the lighter side for a barricade. However, it isn't the lightest shoe. I'd say it'd be about average, but this didn't slow me down. It didn't feel clunky, and I thought Adidas did a good job of distributing the weight within the shoe. So I felt like I could move seamlessly throughout the court. Overall, Barricade users of the past should definitely check this out. It's stable, it's durable, and it'll get the job done. We're gonna toss this playtest over to our East Coast location. Kristen, how did the Adidas Barricades work out for you? Thanks guys. Having also play tested the 2018 Barricade model, I have to say for me personally, I preferred this updated Barricade. I was able to stay in my true size with this model and I had a quicker start out of the box. 
I still needed a slight break-in period, but it wasn't as lengthy or as elaborate as with that 2018 model. First putting these on, I definitely noticed those foam pods around my feet. I definitely felt like those were going to keep me locked in. I did notice them on court within that first hour of playing, but after that first session, those softened up and settled in nicely. From there, I had a little bit of a roller coaster with comfort, as once that cushioning settled in, I had about a week of playing with no issues, and then I started getting some irritation at the back of my heel with that heel collar digging into my heel a bit. But after a couple of sessions, that went away. A few days later, I started noticing some irritation with the ankle collar on my left foot digging into the side of my ankle a bit, but I just played through that, and an hour later, that had loosened up as well. So just a couple of hiccups there, and had I opted to wear a higher sock, maybe a thicker sock, I might have been able to alleviate that altogether. So outside of those little minor issues, I was able to just really appreciate the positives of the shoe. As I mentioned before, I thought support was top notch. I felt locked in, the shoe felt sturdy, felt stable, and all of that without feeling at all bulky. I felt like this model was a little more streamlined than that 2018 model. It felt slightly plusher. I felt like it had good flex. So I was also able to feel really speedy in these shoes. I also thought durability was top notch. Um, the outsole on the shoe, I've probably put a good month in these by now, and I don't really have anywhere in the outsole, even at the toe where I drag my toe on shoes. So durability was top notch. Traction was also good, a little bit of stick on court. I'm not someone who slides at all, so that wasn't at all an issue for me. So overall, I really enjoyed this shoe. It was a nice balance of having that supportive, stable feel without all the weight and bulk. That wraps up our review of the Adidas Barricade shoe. For more information on the shoe or others, be sure to check us out at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.